Yo, what's up, Bonash? Did you get in here? Welcome to a video all about Mortal Kombat 11. The purpose of this video is to help somebody else who doesn't really know what they're doing, uh, doesn't want to go through the long tutorial. It is a good tutorial, but it's a long tutorial. I wanted to make like a mini version of that um, so you can understand a few things. And this video is going to teach you about the following. A, how to move around. B, how to attack. C, how to do special moves, how to create combos, and why you're getting hit by things. How blocking works, how throws works, and all that kind of thing. So, you're going to learn about all of that in this video, starting right now. Accept your death. So we're going to get started on movement here real quick. This isn't going to take very long, but uh, I know this may shock you, but your character can move back and forth. They can also duck, and they can jump. So you can jump just straight up, you can jump forward, you can jump backwards. Walk forward, jump backwards, jump over your opponent if you want. And uh, also you do have the ability to do what's called a short hop, uh, which is where you just tap the up button. Tap the up button, you'll do this little tiny hop. If you hold the up button, you'll do your big jump. So you have four basic attack buttons. Uh, all your moves are in the moves list, which is the first option here when you pause. You can see all of them here, different directions. So you start with the basics. And you can see the number on the screen is indicating how much damage you have. So both characters have a health bar at the top. You can see there, um, if you turn it on in the settings, it'll actually tell you a number. So both these characters have a thousand health. So a thousand health minus 20 damage. Now we have 980 health. Quick maths, you know, but uh, it's kind of important to understand how that works because otherwise these numbers don't really mean anything to you when you see them on the screen. <laughs> So yeah, your basic attacks, so let's press, we press, blah, 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 that's all folks. So let's say we press square, we could press back and square, at, you have to hold back at the same time as square to do a different attack. So this is a little bit slower, but does a little bit more damage than this one. So same, you can do that with the other ones too. So we do the back and the X, as opposed to just regular X. This looks way cooler, you do a freaking front flip. This move also has properties that are more advantageous than just being a cool ass front flip, but still. Just for now, we're just getting into the basics. So, then we got this one, and then you press, say, down. He does a little kick at your toes there. That would be very annoying to get hit with over and over again. So, basic attacks. You go into the combo attacks. You press these buttons in uh, succession. So, square, square, triangle, for example. Square twice, then triangle. Easy enough. And you don't have to do all of these, like, visually. You don't have to time it for when you see your character do the second hit of the attack. You can actually, if you want to, just dial the whole string in. So if you watch my hands here, as opposed to Scorpion, still doing the string, I ain't pressing anything. So you can just dial it in if you want. Do the whole string. There are some strings in the game that kind of, when I say string, I mean, like, kind of combo attack. Uh, there are some combo attacks in this game that kind of do require certain timings, but that's a little bit more of an advanced thing that you can kind of get to in another, another video. We just want you to understand the main aspects and, and how the combat works in this game. So Now you notice when you hit your opponent with attacks, it has different things here. So we have high, we have mid, we have low, and we have overhead. So what these mean are you have to block a certain way in order to block these attacks. So let's get into blocking real quick because that's kind of important. So there is no air block in this game. So if you're jumping, you can get hit. You can get uppercutted. Someone can just boom, swan you right out of the air. So you can only block stationary. You cannot move while you're blocking. Uh, you can block high standing or you can block low ducking. Now where you would want to block is dependent on the attack your opponent is going to throw at you. And this is where it's important to understand a mid as opposed to a high, as opposed to an overhead, as opposed to a low. So let's have uh, old Sub-Zero go into spam block mode, because, you know, that's what everyone's little brother does, and let's uh, teach you how to counter it. So if someone's spamming you with low attacks, like say all they're doing is just this one low attack over and over again, you can block, and not only will you block low attacks, you'll also block high attacks and mid attacks. So you'll block all three of those. So, if, yeah, someone just keeps kicking you in the shins, just duck and hold the block button, and you'll be just fine. Now, if you're the aggressor and you're trying to hit them and, like, nothing you're doing, and they're just like, it's like, Mom, you spam on the block button again. I got your back. 
Use an overhead attack. An overhead attack is used specifically to hit somebody who's blocking low. So in Scorpion's case, this wonderful flip that we I see it. I think see. I told you we had more to this than just a fancy flip. So if they're if they're spamming blocking low, bam, you hit them with a smack them with the overhead. Okay. They can't block that. Now let's go to the reverse scenario here, where we're gonna have um, Sub Zero. Where are you here? Stand. Now he's figured out that he can block our overhead, because when you're standing, you can block high, mids, and overheads. So that's where you would block those. So if you're getting hit by a move, like say by an AI or, or a buddy or somebody online, go into practice mode and, and find that move and see what it says. What is mid, high, overhead. Um, but when you're stand blocking, you can't block lows. So then I can go back to hitting you with all these annoying little lows. So it's important to understand that if, if you're getting hit while you're blocking, you know, you might want to understand where that attack's coming from. You can also just go into the moves list here. Um, and if you go into the moves list, uh, you will see uh, move type right at the top. Can't really, I'm trying to point to it, but like I'm too small. So you see mid, high, mid, high, high, overhead. So there, overhead will, so if you're looking for an attack, you're like, how do I hit somebody who's duck blocking? There's your overhead right there. And that's one of the first things that I do when I go to learn a new character is I go and find, okay, where's my lows, where's my overheads? You know, same with your combo attacks, because sometimes your combo attacks, see, this one has a low as the second hit. So, I mean, or, or sorry, yeah, the last two hits. Low, low. So there you go. So it's not all about the single attacks. You can look at it in the combo attacks too. And then, then you can, that's when you really get to mix it up, you know? Whoa, I went to a low. Ooh, just kidding, it's an overhead. But now it's a low, low again. So this is where you kind of get mix ups going. So let's move into the next scenario, which is your opponent is literally blocking everything that you're doing. Like you just can't open them up at all. You know, like you're doing the overheads, you're doing all this stuff. This is where we get to the throw button. Now throws are unblockable. It doesn't matter whether you're stand blocking or whether you're duck blocking. We'll just show you just for poops and giggles here. You cannot block a throw. You just can't. You just can't. And, you're, and your opponent can actually throw you two different ways. Or you can throw your opponent two different ways. I don't know why I'm always looking at it at that point of view. If you press the throw button and hold back, you'll do what's called a back throw, which will throw them the opposite direction. Press the throw button and hold forward. Press the whole throw button and hold forward, you'll do a forward throw. Which kind of keeps them more or less where they are. Maybe it creates a little bit of distance, but yeah. So there you go. Someone that's just, they keep blocking. They, you can't hit them with lows. You can't hit them with overheads. Hit them with a throw. Now, let's say you're that person that's now getting hit with throws. How are you supposed to defend against the throw? Throws can be ducked. So how you would do this is, let's set the AI to block mode off. So now Sub-Zero's ducking, but he's not blocking. Because you're not blocking, I can't throw you. My throw's just completely whiff. So you could wait for me to try and throw a <coughs> neutral duck and then maybe punish me, maybe, maybe do a little low kick or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's one of the main defenses against throws in this game. And when you get to playing at a high level, this is actually a pretty important part of it, is to go with a slow duck. Now here's where things might get a little tricky. Um, they can just throw out a mid and then hit you, or an overhead, or literally any attack. So it's, it's it's a big read on a throw, but generally speaking, if someone's you know spamming throws, it's fairly easy to recognize when that's coming. So there is a safer way to defend against a throw. However, it does require a bit of a skill ceiling there. Um, so there's two different ways you can escape it. You can press either triangle or square, or whatever the equivalent on Xbox is, X or Y. Um, depending on what throw your opponent's going to do, but it is a bit of a guess because there's no way to indicate whether they're going to throw you forward or back. So this is kind of a secondary defense. You're blocking, try and block your mix-ups, and then they hit you with the throw. You react to the fact that they did a throw, and you press a button to try to escape. And again, you don't have to time it. You just have to kind of get it within a certain window. You can mash it if you want. We're going to set um, Sub-Zero to throw me forward, and to escape a forward throw, you would press the triangle button. And you see throw escape there. Do one more time. Throw escape. So I'm blocking all the mix-ups, but I'm still able to defend against the throw at the same time. So uh, if the same thing with if they do the back throw, I will use the square button 
to escape out of there. Throw escape. There we go. See? One more time. Throw escape. Now, you, if you say guess wrong, you'll get a little mark in the corner there that says escape failed. Which means you got the escape timed right, but you guessed the wrong direction. Now, sometimes characters get extra damage if you guess the wrong way. That's a little bit of a more complicated topic, so we're not really going to get into that in this video. But if you do want some more information about that, so uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can do a part two or something like that. So, um, yeah. So you can you can tech a throw or escape a throw, or you can just duck. Uh, there are some kind of detriments to just ducking, though, but it is a strategy. Mids will hit you, lows will hit you, overheads will hit you. You can also duck high attacks. So this is a high attack. When you see the high attack, you can duck it. If you were to block, that high attack would hit you. And that's how... Uh... Oh, I want stance hold, sorry. Yeah, the high attack hits you. So that just neutral duck would be a good defense against a single high attack. The problem is usually the high attacks come with a mid afterwards with the combo strings, so just be wary of that. So a little complicated, but let's do a recap here. So mid attacks, you can block uh, any direction, standing up, on the ground, whatever. Mid attacks have no mix up there. Lows, you can only block ducking, <coughs> but you can also block mids and highs. Overheads, you can only block standing up, but then you're not blocking lows. High and mid can be blocked in either direction, and then it's just the mix-ups after that. Throws are unblockable, but you can duck them. Highs, you can also duck. If you have any questions or you're a little confused about this, it is a little bit tricky of a concept to handle, I think. Um, just leave a comment, I'll do my best to explain it if I can need to clarify myself a little bit more. Always willing to do that. So let's get on to the last part of uh, our basic attacks here, which is our special moves. All right, so this is one of the better parts about Mortal Kombat is that so many characters, so many different special moves, so many different possibilities. So go into your moves list and you'll see a little tab called special moves. And this will list all your special attacks. These are usually where you get your big combos from and your big damage. So they're usually two inputs and then a, uh, or two directional inputs and then a button. So Hellport, for example, as we go down, and it will always show you the direction that you're facing. So down backwards away from our opponent and then the X button. So down back and then the X button. Uh, you do want to hit it fairly quickly. I kind of like to roll my thumb from like down to back in this kind of scenario. Boom. And now if you'll see, if we go into the moves list again, it'll switch and it will say down back the other direction. That's why we say down back whatever. Because it's always back away from your opponent, it's not down left or down right, because it's constantly changing depending on what side you're on. Go down and back, or down and forward. Or we can go back forward, back forward square, to do the iconic scorpion spear. Get over here! So yeah, there you go. Special moves. In a nutshell, what else does scorpion have that we could show you? The death spin. Ooh. Pretty crazy move. Look at all that damage. Look at all that damage. Now, once you get really good, you can start linking combo attacks into special moves like this. Whoa! That's a little bit more of advanced stuff there, but uh, yeah, we just press square, square, and then we go special move input. Gotta be fairly quick. But those are just kind of the possibilities, you know, things that you can do once you kind of figure out how link all of these moves together you know now where special moves really take off is when you start using your meter with them so you want to go into your controls and look for your interact button your interact button is going to be how you're going to use your meter to enhance your special moves or meter burn them as they're called this basically gives you an extra attack off of your special attack um, so for example scorpion spear regularly just knocks it down that's it but if i meter burn it so i do the back forward square and then after i do that i press my interact button it actually starts a combo so i could do something like this there's a five hit combo right there so again you do the special move i'm just mashing you can literally see that i'm just mashing it on the left hand side there show your button inputs 
I was standing in front of an interactable. We're going to get into those later. <laughs> but yeah. I find you, for most of the time, you don't have to be super on the ball as far as timing. Do it. There you go. And then you get the Amplified. Uh, we'll see it off of the Teleport. Now, again, I remap this button, so you might want to check your controls and just make sure you know which one is your Interact button. But yeah. So the regular Teleport stops there, stops the combo. This one extends the combo. So, and then you can do something like this. This little attack string, cancel it into that. It's all kind of coming together now. Before you know it, you're doing shit like this. Boom! So we started with basic attacks, we went on to combo attacks, then we started to talk about special moves. And now I just wanted to kind of show you that to see how they all kind of link together now that we have a more basic understanding of it all. So, um, I feel like that's a good transition to our next segment here, which is talking about the little meter in the corner. So, any questions, leave them in the comments, otherwise we're going to move on to the next segment. Alright, so we're going to talk about your meter, uh, which is in the bottom left and right hand corners. So you have two meters, one has a little shield and one has a sword. So your sword is the, is the meter that you use to enhance your special moves. So for example, if I do this... Now you'll notice on the very bottom you can see that meter kind of slowly start to kind of build back. So we have to wait until we have one bar, which is right now to enhance a special move again. So if I try and enhance a special move without it, it won't let me because I don't have the meter to do so. So I have to be aware of how much meter I have if I'm going to be using those special moves. So if you go to amplify a special move and it does, nothing happens, be like, what? And you can look down and be like, oh, I didn't have the meter for it. Okay. So yeah, you'll see there's that one little bar right in the middle, right here, where I can use one move and then it builds up again until I can use another move. And slight pause when you go to use the move. So, and that's just for kind of mostly special moves, some interactables if you want to armor them. So the second meter is what's called a defensive meter, and that's one that's vertical. So you can use that to use an interactable. Like for example, this little cow head behind me here, I can throw it if I have the defensive bar to do it. There we go. Through the interactable. There's another one here in the corner. And you see it flashing saying, oh, you can use it. There you go. And I would have to wait for my defensive meter to come back if I were to use another interactable. So again, these are more for just kind of moves that you would use in defense of yourself, as the meter name would suggest. Um, also wake up attacks and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to tackle that in this video because that's getting a little bit more too advanced. I just really wanted you to understand how the things around you work, how to attack, how to get your offense going, and why you're getting hit. That was kind of the goal of this video. Do you understand it? Did I do a good job of explaining it? Let me know. I can make a part two for kind of more advanced strategies to like a step up from this if you'd find that helpful. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't because I make new videos all the time. Hashtag Bonehawks, all that stuff. And we'll see all you Bonehawks in the next video.